Hello, and welcome back to Junk Botics. My name is Andrew. Today I want to show you how to reuse a particular piece of junk I have out in my shop. They're called mattress inflators, and I typically purchase them at thrift stores or any other place that I happen to find them because they have a very nice motor inside of them. Small, lightweight, high RPM, and usually will run on 12 volts, which is great for robotics projects and anything else you might need. Heck, you can even use them for an inflator if you want. You can think of different things you can do there as well. Anyhow, we'll come back to that later. Let's go out into the shop and uh, grab them, bring them back here, see what's inside. Okay, uh, you might remember this mess from before. Anyhow, inflators are over here in my uh, junk pile. You may have uh, remember seeing them at, in the introduction video. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and grab them. They're these two things right here. And uh, we'll uh, take them back into, uh, we'll take them back into the uh, office and uh, take them apart in there. All right, well, we're back here in my office, and as you can see, I'm not in my disguise anymore, so <laughs> this is my natural look. Anyhow, let's uh, take a look at these mattress inflators and uh, see what's going on with them. All right, well, you can see here they are, and, you know, you might be able to tell what thrift store I usually shop at, but, uh, yeah, they're not sponsoring me, so uh, I can't tell you their name. Anyhow, uh, I picked up one of these recently for $3.49, and the other one, I spent uh, $4.49. Uh, I figure those are pretty cheap, uh, even as inflators. Uh, we're going to uh, plug them in and uh, see if they actually work. Well, one of them we can plug in, actually. This one here, it actually has a 110-volt uh, cord. So we can easily plug that one in and test to see if it works. And this one, on the other hand, well... It's uh, got a 12 volt adapter. This one's going to be, well, I shouldn't, it's not going to be a challenge. I got plenty of stuff in order to do it. It's just going to take a little bit more ingenuity. But the nice thing about this one is that the cord comes loose. So guess what? We got two things for the price of one. We got a nice little cord that can plug into a power accessory outlet or cigarette lighter if you got an old vehicle like I do and use it out in your car. I guess that's what this was for, so you go camping or whatnot and just plug it right in. Uh, what I said is, uh, you know, I had to have one of these were uh, 12 volts, the other was uh, 110. Um, I've got my uh, got my stuff out in order to test 12 volts. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've got a uh, power supply here uh, along with this. It's a uh, an adapter. I meant to, uh, I think I was going to use it for a project. Not sure what. I think it was meant for my Jeep. Anyway, I'm going to hook this up to a 12 volt power supply, um, which I'll show you here in a little bit. And uh, we'll test that out, make sure the power supply all works, because uh, that's another uh, one of those pieces of junk that I picked up at a ham, ham fest. Here's the power supply, and uh, you can see I have a multimeter next to it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on here, and uh, yeah, we do have power. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's find out what the voltage is. I'm going to uh, move this back a little bit. I'm going to take uh, take my uh, negative on my uh, my negative uh, uh, probe on my thing, and there's that. There's a little in these power supplies and these banana plugs of what they're called. There's a little hole back behind that you can stick probes into. Very very handy. And then you just tighten it down, and it's all good. Now we're going to turn on our meter, Let's see what it does. Okay, you can probably see that there's a zero. Uh, we have it set to, uh, let's see, uh, 200 volts. Yes, uh, that's, a, that's an okay place for to be. And then we'll uh, take this uh, other one and plug it right in there and uh, tighten that down. And let's see what we've got here. It's supposed to be uh, 13 volt, 13.8 volts, a standard automobile battery voltage and uh, 10 amps, which should be more than enough to power our uh, inflator. Anyhow, uh, look at it. Um, hard to see. Uh, let's see. Try to, oh, 14.3 volts. Probably be easier if I put it down here. Uh, let's see, yeah, there we go. 14.3 volts. So, uh, yeah, we got plenty of voltage. Should have plenty of amperage. We'll uh, plug, this, uh, plug this one in later and uh, 
see if uh, see if the magic smoke comes out. All right, so uh, here we have the uh, wires connected uh, to the uh, to the uh, adapter down here, and uh, we've got our inflator plugged in, and it's got a very long cord. And there's our magic inflator. Uh, we'll turn on the power supply, and uh, got plenty of power, got everything going, and uh, let's see what happens when we turn this on. Uh, okay, so it's actually got uh, three settings. Middle is off. Number two is some other setting. It looks like on off. So, but we got this other thing. I'll DC. Well, let's try. Uh, let's try this other way. Uh, nothing. I don't know what that setting is. All right. Well, let's try the other one. Oh wow! Oh oh wow! Yeah, you can. You can definitely hear how fast that is. This thing is putting out a lot of air. A lot of air. It's putting out a lot of air and it makes a very terrible sound. Uh, well, I guess that's why they call it an inflator. I uh, want to uh, make sure it inflates everything properly. So, uh, yeah, I guess this works. All right. Well, let's try the uh, AC version one. That, that one will be a lot easier to plug in. So I noticed something uh, really interesting about this inflator. Uh, it looks like, if we look at it real closely, I don't know if you can see that there. I'll try to get the light. Uh, yeah, um, very difficult to see. Well, anyhow, what it has is it actually has a little micro switch in it. You can see this isn't like, you can't just plug it into anything. It's got a particular kind of uh, plug or something that it needs to be plugged into for uh, you know for the uh, run to run the air in probably whatever mattress or whatnot and uh, yeah it uh, it's a uh, non-standard so it was meant to be plugged in and then rotated and plugged in and turned on and that little there's a little micro switch in there and that little micro switch would uh, actually activate um, activate the uh, pump, I believe. So if I plug this in, it shouldn't do anything. It should just sit there like uh, like nothing. So uh, here we go. And yeah, absolutely nothing. But if we go in here, we can press it down, you can hear it. All right. Nice thing about this one, it's a lot quieter comparatively. I hope you can hear me. Anyhow, yeah, it's a lot quieter than that other one. It It's... Uh, it's uh, got a nice, I guess it's got a nicer fan or something in it. Anyhow, um, we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. You know, it uh, runs, both of them run good. So uh, well, that means the motors are good and that we could take it apart and do the motors. Now, the one thing that's interesting about this, uh, well, it's interesting because this one, you can see, it's got nice screws. All we have to do is unscrew this one and uh, it should just pop right open. Whereas the other one, this one's going to give us a little bit of trouble because there's no screws or anything. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like they didn't want you getting into it. So uh, we're just going to have to, yeah, yeah, we're just going to have to brute force it. All right, well, that does it for testing these inflators today. In future videos, we'll be looking at the AC mattress inflator and the DC mattress inflator in detail as well. If you guys are doing anything with junk, with robotics, or with junk botics itself, Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked what you saw today, please subscribe. Please share this with your friends and let them know what I'm doing here. And hey, I'll even take your likes. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.